Mandy Portkita and I'm director of the Mrs. Soweto Female Empowerment Program. I'm also CEO of Icarus Media. I'm a board member of Dignity Dreams and I'm also a mother and a four beautiful children and a wife. So I'm absolutely so thrilled to be here today and to celebrate women in Soweto. Beautiful. I love that opportunity. I'm so proud of you. I love that opportunity. <laughs> So tell me something, you are Mrs. Soweto, Mrs. Personality 2019? Oh, all of that. So yeah, so uh, about uh, 2019, I was the Mrs. South Africa personality title holder. Uh, in my youth, I was Miss Edenvale and Miss South Gauteng. And uh, I also was um, a finalist in the Miss South Africa in the Gauteng region. And yeah, so beauty pageants have been something that I've always been passionate about because I really feel they bring out the best in women. And it's something that we, you can really tap into and really feel your power when you're up there as a, in a beauty pageant. And it's not really about how you look, it's really about how you feel and empowering yourself. Right. So what does it take for me to be a Mrs. Personality? It's unfortunate I want to be Mrs. <laughs> but I'm saying if it was the case, what do I need to have to be Mrs. Personality? I think the best thing is to be authentic. So anyone who knows me, I am me, I'm always my authentic self and I think people connect with people when they are real and when they are in their true, true self. So be authentic and uh, be your true self and that will come naturally then to you. And I've noticed that you've been with a lot of initiatives. Yes. So why did you choose this one, the, the female empowerment program? So empowering women has been a theme throughout my life really. I've loved working with women and also entrepreneurs, so I wear two hats. So I love to empower the women and I love to empower females who are starting businesses and have SMMEs. Um, I obviously own a social media marketing company, so I really work closely with businesses to really um, give them the power to grow their brand. Uh, so I love to help specifically women in doing this. And you do a lot of things. Is there something that you can't do? <laughs> Everybody laughs because they said I need to learn to say no. I have a problem with saying no. So yes, I am involved in a lot of projects. As I said, uh, you know, the number of businesses I'm in. Um, and also, I, uh, as I said, board member of Dignity Dreams. And then I also work very closely with Sojo Business and Tourism to develop business and tourism in the South. And that is why when I heard about, when, when Dr. Sefa Fatso Mate came to me and she said, I have this vision, I have a vision for Soweto, to empower the women there, to work in the community. This is everything that, that I resonate with and that I'm passionate about. And I was so honored to, to be her partner in actually getting the Mrs. Soweto off the ground. And we really want to make an impact the big thing about the Mrs. Soweto Female Empowerment Program is impact. Impact in the community, impact in tourism, and that is showcasing what magnificent things there are in Soweto. And um, of course, empowering the women. We need them to be empowered. We want them to give, have workshops where they really learn skills that will help them in business, help them, them to grow as a person. And, uh, and of course charity, so charity is also very important. So these four pillars are something that we want to achieve in the Mrs. Soweto Female Empowerment Program. Yeah. 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 Yes, I am. When I wake up, I'm bubbly. I'm a morning person and I'm also a night person. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, uh, I, I really feed off energy of people. So, this feeds me, it feeds my soul, and uh, it's what keeps me going. So, that's the energy that you'll be bringing into the event. Exactly. Mrs. When is it? So, the Mrs. Soweto Female Empowerment Program, the finale is on the 12th of August. It's going to be at the Soweto Theatre. And then we're also doing the semi finals on the 16th of June at Maponia Mall. And we're very grateful to all of the sponsors, Reno the Glen, for example, and so many partners that have come on board to support us. I mean, they're giving a, a Reno Kaiga away, but it's something incredible and it really shows how much trust they have in us to make sure that this is an impactful uh, program. On that event, knowing your public personality and your energy, what are we going to do? What are we supposed to expect from that event? Well, I think if you've got a taste of what just our charity high tea was, you will expect big things. We're going to make it luxe, luxe, luxe. It's going to be a gala evening of the year 
and uh, we're really going to also showcase what we've done with the women over the time that they've been finalists. So uh, it's going to be really interesting, it's going to be an extravaganza of a show and we can't wait to crown the first official Mrs. Soweto. So tell me something about you. What have those you give to the contestants that are participating in this event? I mean you've, been, you've done a lot of pageants. Yes. You know the experience, you know the, the nerves, yes. the, the pressure. So what do you advise them to do? I think it goes back to what I said earlier about being your authentic self. And that is so important. If you're true to yourself and also to take what you need out of the experience, you know, use it to grow and to hit the targets that you want and the goals that you want for yourself, then you will have the best experience possible. So if you're true to yourself, you don't have to be nervous because it's just you and you're putting your best self forward. And of course, remember that we are equipping you. So we will be doing workshops. You don't need any experience to enter. You can be any size. We're looking for real, authentic women who are passionate about the Soweto community. I love that as well. There's everything that you are saying, I just love. Tell me some things. Now, because I've seen that you are doing a lot of things, what are you currently busy with and what do you hope to achieve in the future? So, as I said, um, I actually work with 17 brands as a social media marketing person. So I'm busy every day helping those brands grow. And then of course, as I said, very passionate about the Mrs. Soweto. So that's also taking, I'm dedicating a lot of time to make sure that it's the best possible program and the most impactful program that we can actually create. So that is a, a lot of energy is going to be going onto that. Um, and of course, we've got a lot of things to do. We're working with the girls, we've got the semi-finals, we've got the finals. So we were putting a lot of work in to make sure that this is actually the most impactful and the most amazing event of the year. And then, as I said, working with Sojo Business and Tourism uh, in the South, and we want to build a bridge. You know, for us, Soweto is part of the South. So we want to build a bridge between all our partners in the South and Soweto and work together through Soweto Tourism and Sojo Business and Tourism. So that is something else that uh, I'm very passionate about. Last question from my side. Yes, I've been fortunate enough to be in your presence and to see your energy live. <laughs> so for anyone that wants to know more about Tendi, where can they go on your socials? How can yes, you find so you can find me uh, on Instagram. It's at Tandy Portita. And that's like Tandy, but without the H. So T-A-N-D-I, Portita. And then on uh, Facebook as well, it's uh, Tandy Portita, Mrs. South Africa Personality. You can find it there. And uh, on TikTok, but that's crazy stuff there that I put on there, so you don't have to look at that. <laughs> That's where I have fun. <laughs> and also a Tandy Portfolio. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much for having me.